Good morning guys and welcome back to another week of training but actually this week is the last full week of training before next week which next week is Ironman Lake Placid which I can't believe it's like finally almost here it's a little scary but you know I've done all that I can do when it comes to training I've spent weeks and weeks of training I've had my weeks that weren't so great I've had weeks that work great when it comes to training and at this point anything that I do is really just to tune up to make sure that you know my body stays fresh leading up to the race so for instance today I only have like a 42 minute ride uh, in the park so it's nothing too crazy but yeah it's a nice day out and um you know just gonna try to enjoy this last week and then yeah next week is race week also i'm wearing my iron man happy valley shirt you know to make sure people know what happened two weeks ago no i'm kidding but before i go off on this bike ride i just want to say thank you to everybody who has ordered shirts over the past couple of months and helped me raise money for iron man lake placid uh through, you know, I'm doing it through the Iron Man Foundation. I am actually going to stop selling those shirts the day after race day. So if you haven't gotten one yet, I highly recommend. They're actually really comfy. And if you've gotten one, comment down below and let me know if you like it or not. But yeah, there's only two weeks left to order those shirts and then I'm gonna officially stop the sales of it. Um, and who knows, maybe one day there will be another shirt that comes out, but. Yeah, also, one other thing. Sorry, I feel like I have a bunch of things to talk about this morning. I got a new pair of glasses, and they match my helmet, and today they actually match my shirt, because I sat on my last pair on accident. So, it's time to get a new pair. But again, these are Rock Bros. I'll put them on. They're Rock Bros sunglasses. The ones I had last time as well. They're actually really comfortable. They're cheap. You don't have to go buy an expensive pair of glasses uh, to do this, and they work great. This is, you know, Rock Bros are what I've been wearing for the past, my past two races, and I don't have any complaints about them. All right, now I'm gonna stop talking, gonna get on the bike, and let's do this workout. Just made it to the park, just started the workout. And really the goal is just to honestly not push too crazy hard or anything. Just going to keep the legs warm. Again, like I mentioned, at this point of training, it's all maintenance. Making sure your body's good to go. The last thing you want to do now is injure yourself, pull a muscle or something. So I'm going to try to keep it at race pace, honestly. You know, focus on the climbs. There's going to be so many climbs at Lake Placid. And I need to make sure that I'm just kind of cruising where it's flat keep my composure, hit the climbs, enjoy the downhills, and just be patient. I felt like I pushed it a little bit hard out of the gate at Penn State for that 70.3, so I really need to make sure I don't do that for Placid or your boy's gonna be in trouble. As much as I'm excited about training being over, I'm gonna miss a little bit, I think. All right, I need to stop talking. Sorry, I took a double shot of espresso this morning, so I'm all fired up. Just finished one loop in the park and it took me literally 21 minutes exactly so with that being said i'll get two loops in the park it'll be about 12 miles or so the legs are feeling pretty good feel pretty good on the climbs today the park is just packed man i love the energy that's why like i love working out in the mornings you just get that boost of energy not only from obviously yourself working out but everyone around you doing the same it sets the tone for the day I made it back home. I finished the workout and showered and got ready for work. I have a little bit of a hectic day, but yeah, it was a good workout overall. I think it was like right over 12 miles total and it was like right at 42 minutes. I just did two loops in the park. I felt pretty good, you know, again, just trying to keep the legs warmed up, I guess you could say. For the race next weekend, not this coming weekend, but the following weekend. Um, I actually have two brick workouts this week too, which is interesting. One is on Friday, it's like a shorter one. And then my last long workout is this coming Saturday, which is crazy. Honestly, it felt like at times that training was never going to actually end, but it's coming to an end, which 
low key excited about. You know, I've been trying to like stay mentally prepare mentally and physically for Lake Placid coming up, but I definitely, you know, I have so much going on, not only in my personal life, but my work life and everything that mentally I've just been all over the place. I've like wanted to focus on this race, but you know, there's just a lot of moving pieces in other parts of my life right now that my mind has really kind of been solely focused on so that's the only thing that I guess I'm why I'm a little stressed going into this race because you know at the beginning of training I was like solely focused on you know training and preparing for all of this but lately my attention has been drawn elsewhere but for good reasons like you know obviously training I can't focus on training all the time. That's just not how life is. We have to learn how to balance training with everything else in life. Uh, and that's just the reality. I mean, it would be great if I could just focus on training all the time, but that means I would be a pro professional athlete. And I, honestly, I don't see that in my future. Um, nor do I think I ever want that. Yeah, just trying to balance everything has been tough and it's made me a little bit nervous going into Placid. Uh, just mentally, I feel like I'm not as focused as I would like to be. That might change hopefully a little bit next week. I'm sure once I get there, just like with Happy Val the Happy Valley 70.3, like once you're there, you're kind of like tunnel vision in a way. So I'm sure that will happen for this round. But yeah, it's tough, guys. It is tough training for something like this and, and really just making sure not only are you physically ready, but mentally. So I'm working through it day by day, one day at a time. But we're only like 12 or 11 days out, I think. Other than that, you know, I just got to work today. I didn't want to mention, I watched a documentary called Inches to Miles. It was a like a short documentary that I think Athletic Brewing Company did. They filmed it last year. They followed three athletes preparing for Ironman Lake Placid last year. And they just had very inspiring stories. And if you're someone who is doing Lake Placid coming up, I highly recommend going and checking out the documentary. I'll link it up above or down in the description description go watch that because really exciting to see and really got me pumped up for Lake Placid but even if you're just training for an Ironman in general or if you just like to see amazing stories I highly recommend watching it I watched it this past weekend and definitely gave me a little bit more fire under me to like just keep pushing we're so close to race day anyways I am going to sip some more of this of course I've still been getting my Duncan get to work got a good day ahead hopefully and then tomorrow I have a run so I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's currently like 6.45. I am just doing a quick 40 minute run today. So shouldn't be anything too crazy. Gonna keep a nice pace. Maybe push a little bit, but it is humid out here this morning. It rained overnight, so that's fun. But <clears throat> I was actually looking at the weather for Lake Placid next week. And it said like the Friday before the race. So next Friday, the high was only like 69. So it's actually gonna be a, a little bit cooler than I was expecting it to be which is good i would much rather have that than it being way too hot <clears throat> but we all know how the weather works it can change just like that 69 degrees if that's race day conditions i'd be pretty happy especially compared to how it was for penn state which was like 90. so fingers crossed it stays that way Oh, run complete, 40 minutes, 4.6 miles. Average pace was 8.35, oh, not too shabby. Oh, let me just sit down for a second. Oh man, that humidity today sucked ass. It's crazy how much humidity can change. Like everything from heart rate, my heart rate was definitely higher than normal for like that kind of a run. But luckily, hopefully, fingers crossed, like I said, it's gonna be a little bit cooler for Lake Placid, but you know, I was just on that run just thinking about, you know, where I'm at and that I'm coming up obviously on a really big challenge. And I think that pushing myself kind of like what I've chatted about previously in like previous videos is kind of what I'm really looking forward to getting out of this race. You know, people have asked me, well, like two weeks ago, right after my half Ironman in Penn State, like, dude, you just did a half Ironman right before your full Ironman in two weeks. And it kicked my ass, I will admit. But like, I'm okay with, you know, continuing to push myself even when it sucks. And that's one thing I'm learning is that, you know, not everything in life is going to be easy, nor is it supposed to. You have to do it anyways, right? Like the whole reason that any of us are even doing these races and you know really showing what we can do is not to prove anything 
anything to anybody. It's really just to prove to ourselves that we can do hard things day in and day out. And that's honestly one of the biggest things I've been looking to get out of doing Lake Placid because I know that it's not going to be easy, especially how after Penn State went that, you know, like I mentioned, kicked my ass. And so I know Lake Placid is only going to be harder. And I'll admit it scares me a little bit, but I think it being scary is a good thing. That means I am doing something that, you know, is going to really challenge me and doing these kind of things are gonna roll over into other areas of my life. You know, I've always been someone that likes to take myself to the next level and see what I'm capable of. And I feel like doing this Ironman is just a glimpse of myself telling myself that, look, I can do hard things and I will carry that over into other aspects of life. You know, I came from humble beginnings and back in, I'm from Pensacola, Florida and didn't grow up with a whole lot, but grew up in a very loving family, which I'm very thankful for. But I knew that, you know, I wanted more out of life growing up. And in order to do so, I needed to make really hard decisions and do really hard things such as moving here to New York, uh, getting into real estate, which is 100% commission in one of the most expensive cities to live in the world. And so I've, I feel like I've always tried to ingrain in myself that I can do hard things and I can push myself further than you know my mind may think I can. And a lot of you guys that are also probably doing half Ironmans or full Ironmans, like the same goes for you guys. Like we didn't, we weren't forced to sign up for this stuff. We chose to sign up for this to tell ourselves, look, I'm going to do a hard thing that not a lot of people in the world are going to do. Like we are very few and far between kind of people that we're go-getters. We like to push the boundaries of what we think is possible for ourselves. And I promise if you just kind of carry that mindset over into other aspects, you will go far and, and you'll be surprised at what you can accomplish. Obviously sitting here with this New York City skyline, it's giving me a little inspiration right now. Sorry, I kind of just went off on a little tangent, but yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm scared, I'm excited. Whether or not, you know, how the race day is gonna go, I don't know, but all I can say is I've prepared myself to, to feel good going into it, that whatever happens, at least I'm going into it with a, a willpower and a strong feeling that I'm pushing myself hard and that's all that matters, so. All right, I feel like I'd really just carried on and on there. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But uh, tomorrow is Friday and I have a brick workout, so that will be, I don't, I don't know what the time is like, but I have a brick workout basically tomorrow and Saturday. And then Sunday, I think is a swim. I don't know, we gotta take a look. Hope you guys enjoyed this little rant. Give it a thumbs up if you like to do hard things. Also, look at this. This is like pickleball courts where an, the ice rink usually is. If you saw one of my previous videos, you saw where there were people ice skating here. And now there's pickleball courts. That's how you know summer's here. Good morning, cheers. Let me just, let me get my first sip in. This morning is a very bittersweet morning, I will say. Probably more sweet than bitter <laughs> because it is my final long ride of training. Today I have, I think, three hours and 15 minutes and then a 45 minute run off the bike. I actually, you know, yesterday morning, today's Sunday, yesterday morning I was supposed to do this workout, but it was like raining outside. And I was like, this is my last one. I kind of want to enjoy it a little bit. So I moved it to today because it's, there's no rain in the forecast. And so yesterday I did a swim, just a short one. It was like a little over a thousand yards, right at a thousand, I think. Really, again, I'm at a point where just keeping my body warmed up and making sure, you know, I feel good. And the swim felt great yesterday. So yeah, today's the last long ride. I'm like contemplating, do I go over into Jersey? I think I should just one more time ride my bike over the George Washington Bridge because it'll probably be a little while before I do it again. At least until realistically, maybe next spring or next summer. We'll see what happens. So yeah, just gonna drink my coffee, enjoy a few minutes of peace and quiet, get ready. Get out the door. Let's have a good last long brick workout before Iron Man Lake Placid in exactly seven days from now. Literally seven days from this moment, I will be probably prepping my bike at, uh, right before I get ready to go off into the swim for my first full Iron Man, which is crazy to think about. And we are off on the ride this morning. Again, three hours, 15 minutes or so. I usually would like warm up with one lap 
in Central Park just to kind of get going. But since I don't have as much time as I normally would on these long rides, I mean, it's still a long time. It's three hours, not five hours, which is what a lot of the workouts have been pretty recently. Um, I'm just gonna head straight for the West Side Highway, well, really Riverside, and go north towards the George Washington Bridge to get over into Jersey. I'll go about, like an hour or 40 minutes maybe and then i'll have to turn around start heading back it's gonna be an enjoyable morning pretty nice by the way look at that this is the ralph polo ralph lauren polos like it's like the coffee shop but also like the clothing headquarters they have it decorated for the olympics which is pretty cool all right hold on but yeah it's a beautiful morning out here it's like i don't know maybe 70 degrees so just gonna enjoy this one this morning Again, last one of training, you know, the last seven, eight months of training, I've been doing this right a lot. Well, a lot of it was indoors, but lately I've been doing this right a lot. So I just want to enjoy it, take it in as the last time. One last time. My goal for today's ride is like I said, just to kind of enjoy it. I'm not gonna push myself like too hard. Again, I'm one week out from race day. Don't want anything crazy to happen. Plus nothing that I do today is gonna change how I perform on race day. If anything, it's just about maintaining current fitness level, keeping the legs warm and just spinning them out. So I don't have a goal for distance or anything like that. It's really just hitting the time. Let's enjoy it because the next time I'm on this bike for a long period of time, it's gonna be a hell of a challenging time that's for sure so just gonna have a good morning i keep saying that it's because i'm like telling myself ashley don't push too hard sometimes especially when you have like music in it's hard to hold yourself back at times to stop really quickly because I've never come down to the water towards the beginning part of the Palisade and it's got such a pretty view. I don't know if you can see it, but you see the city skyline here, the George Washington Bridge, which is what I just rode over. So peaceful and calm down here, especially this early in the morning. I think it's only like 7.30 or so. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take it in one last time because yeah, this is gonna be the last time I come over here for a while. Sorry, I feel like I'm very sentimental this week on this video but you're just gonna have to get over it but yeah just taking this in really quick and then I'm gonna finish this ride and get back on the saddle it's been a good ride this morning so I'll see you at the halfway point just finished the biggest climb that I usually have on this route and I will say you know normally I am not only huffing and puffing but just in a lot of pain and really struggling on that climb but this was the first time that i felt like comfortable and you know obviously it's so challenging but after doing that climb i am feeling good for next week even though i have like 20 of those <laughs> 20 of the, those kind of climbs next week but overall i'm feeling good which is the most important part so now i'm about at the halfway point so about to turn around start making my way back and then when I get home, like I said, just have 45 minute run off the bike. So the best thing about going uphill and having a big climb is that on the way back, you get to go downhill. So this is the fun part. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I'm gonna miss that. Ooh, I think I hit like 35, close to 40 miles an hour on that downhill. That was fun. Alrighty. Oh, bike ride complete. It's like three hours exactly. 42 miles. 42.79. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was supposed to do 315, but the way the route worked out, it ended up being three, so it's close enough. But I felt really good on that ride. Actually, the climb, I'm proud of. 
how my legs felt. I have a little bit more confidence today than I definitely did the past couple of days. So that's always a good sign. But now I'm gonna end this workout and run upstairs, get my running shoes on, and then I have a 45 minute run. Legs are feeling all right. I'm at an 810 pace right now. Feeling a little heavy, but nothing too crazy. I don't want to push too hard on this run. Just trying to shake the legs out really and keep a steady pace. I feel like for the run at Penn State, I went out too hard at first. So I want to make sure I do not do that for this race because that is going to come back and bite me real hard if I push too, do too hard off the start on the run. This run is making it feel like, well, making me feel like it's the end of an era. An end of an era of training for an Ironman and training for this huge challenge that, you know, I've been documenting over the last seven months. Like I said earlier, it's bittersweet, but more sweet than bitter, that's for sure. The park is packed, by the way. I probably don't say it enough, but I really appreciate all you guys who have followed along on this journey and supported me and pushed me to like keep making the videos, keep documenting it, because I definitely had my moments throughout training where I didn't want to do it anymore. I just wanted to stop. A lot of you guys, whether you believe it or not, really picked me up at times, because a lot of you guys left some encouraging comments along the way, and a few of you, you know who you are, left some not so encouraging ones, but that just fired me up even more. So thank you. A little bit halfway there on this run. I feel good, but it's just so freaking hot. Thank God Lake Plas is gonna be a little bit cooler. By the way, if you guys feel like tracking me, just download the Ironman tracker and just type in my name, Ashton Palmer, under the Lake Placid race, and you should be able to track me during the race. Make sure I'm still alive, you know? Just make sure my little person is still moving. Also, just wanted to remind you guys one more time that if you haven't ordered the Passion in Motion shirt that has triathlete on the back, I will be cutting off the cells for that next Monday. So, was that the 22nd? So make sure you order one if you do want one. Again, all the proceeds are going to the Iron Man Foundation, and this is really the last opportunity to donate. So make sure you grab one, link in bio. Run complete, final brick workout of training is complete. Oh man, honestly, it wasn't too bad. It's just that heat started getting to me. I'm really happy I wore this hat for some shade, and I stopped at a few water fountains and filled it up, put it on my head. So needless to say, I'm definitely doing that on race day because that felt absolutely amazing. Also, if any of you guys are doing Lake Placid and you see me there, definitely like come by and say hi. I love me. I met someone at Penn State that watches the channel and it was just awesome getting to actually meet some of you guys in person. So definitely say hi if you see me. But other than that, thanks again, guys. Make sure you give this a thumbs up, subscribe down below. And again, the next time that I see you guys, it will be when I am packing up and headed up to Lake Placid. So, thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next one.